What's going on? It's Jason Heath, and I am so fascinated by what my friend Olivier Babaz does on the bass. It's really fascinating, the sonic language that he explores, whether it's jazz, bowing, or working with the kalimba, or just his creative approach to music in general. Olivier just finished his first jazz bow workshop, and in this video we're going to take a look at how he explored these topics in that session, the music that he uses, and I think you're going to get a lot of creative inspiration from just seeing how he works. We'll have links in the description below to Olivier's YouTube channel, his website, his courses with Discover Double Bass, but let's take a deep dive at how Olivier is exploring these concepts. I love that Olivier warms up just like I warm up. And get the bass running. Big sound. And that bass rolling, I love that concept with the strings. My friend Dennis Whitaker, who has a great series called Incredibly Useful Exercises, he uses the phrase, get the string going fat, or make the string go fat. And that's kind of what Olivier is doing here. I just love the sound that he gets out of his instrument, too. I love how he can keep his foot going like that, too, as he does this. Prepare for quarter. And this reminds me a lot of how Katie Thoreau approaches rhythmic warming up. And she has that topic covered in her Discover Double Bass course. Olivier also has courses on Discover Double Bass, and so do I, actually. So, But I really like this approach, and I love how he can start to say the next subdivision while he's playing the other. That always trips me up when I try to do that. Prepare for eight, three, four. Don't jump. And by not jumping, he means stay on the string. All of this material is meant to be on the string. And he explains that as he goes through this workshop. Prepare for triplet. I love how, I love how there's swing even in his warm-up exercises like that. That's so cool. Let's woo. Everything's nice and just moving as a unit, nice and measured and controlled, and now he just steps it down. Back down. So you bring it up, take it back down. It's just such a great way to warm up. Well, the bow is like a big guitar pick at first. Just use it like you feel. That is such a great way to think about the type of percussive playing or different articulations that he gets. And I just love the spectrum of articulations that Olivier gets out of his instrument with the bow. It really opens my eyes to the possibility of what you can do with the bow in styles that you might associate more with pizzicato playing. And the more you'll, you'll do it, the more it will refine itself. And... Yeah, the more you will do it, the more you will change your technique, for example. But don't hesitate to, to experiment with it and to go for it and don't be shy. So I'm really not, um, I'm really not uh, so conservative about that. Use the bow if you want. But of course, having a good a, a classical background is of course a plus when it comes to arco technique. And when it comes to those, Vertical bowing, same thing. I love this vertical bowing concept that he does. It's so cool, the percussive sounds that he gets out of this. Triplet. I'm bowing vertically, 16th. 
it's just amazing the spectrum of colors that you can get out of this instrument. It's just really, I just, I see all these imaginative possibilities as I watch him go through this. I'm just on the first two beats. So I love the way that he approaches phrasing like this taking something pizzicato, a line that you would think of as playing pizzicato, and then flipping it and playing it arco and getting that sort of articulation with the bow. That's exactly what he's doing here. Last riff. So, multiple answers to that. I like this one because it gives me a lot of freedom here with the thumb, but the problem is that you've got this big move of balancing the bow, so you can have an accident for here in studio, but I like it because when it's under my thumb, I got my two and even three finger. Yeah, it's so great to be able to find a way to free your hand up a little bit when you got the bow in it. Okay, here we go. Olivier's slap bow technique. This is a great explanation, kind of window inside. Check out these groovy licks. So, one, two, three. And now the three. same rhythm but let's zoom in so what i call zoom in it play exactly the same thing but two times faster so we're playing in we were playing in quarter so now in eighth so quarter don't put the note first just the quarter now eighth you can hear that rhythm in the hair so cool Throws in some pitch. I mean, just all every single move is slightly different here. So you got the note on the one, the stick on the three, and you got the hairs um, bowing vertically on all the end. All right, so one. That is an intricate move to get under your fingers. That does not come naturally to me, but I've been working on it, and I just I love the sound that you get with that. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Thank you so much for watching this video. Links in the description below will take you to everything Olivier related. And by the way, I did a review on this channel of Olivier's Jazz Boeing course. I really hope you enjoy it. We'll see you in the next video.